The Master Chef Challenge. Kill 50 enemies with cooked grenades. This is part of the Precision Challenges, which can be found by going to Operator, Challenges, Operations, and Precision. Let's take a look at the reward you get for completing this challenge first. So it's a calling card, albeit a horrifically hideous one. Seriously, what is this? Why is the guy's face all scrunched and creepy looking? There's no grenade even present in the picture as far as I can tell. And why is there a helicopter in the background? What is this? Anyway, back to the challenge itself. This is by far my favorite challenge in the game. In fact, if you go for one challenge in Advanced Warfare, I recommend this be the one. Why is that? This challenge will improve your gameplay, trust me. I'll explain in more detail in just a moment. First, let's briefly touch base on the frag grenade itself. This classical frag grenade is a flexible and useful explosive. Now because you can cook the grenade by holding the grenade button before releasing it, you can detonate frags in midair if you want. With mastery of this, you can throw it into rooms, objectives, or windows, and you can score guaranteed kills. If you don't cook your frags, they can be picked up and thrown back at you. Oddly, it's the flak jacket perk that allows you to pick up frags and throw them with their full fuse time, no matter how little time was left when you picked it up. The flak jacket perk also allows you to cancel a cook grenade. This is useful if you cook it and your enemy dies or is no longer in sight. In my opinion, both of these should be part of the fast hands perk and not flak jacket. Grenade cooking, by the way, is done simply by pressing the grenade throwing button and holding it down for an extended period of time and then throwing the grenade right before it goes off. If you want, you can also play Suicide Bomber and just hold the thing until it goes off. So the most important thing you need to note about the frag grenade is its cooking time. While cooking a grenade, your crosshair pulses once each second. The grenade detonates after about 3.5 seconds, so don't hold it for more than 3 pulses. I've seen so many people shrug their grenades off in this game as being useless. Or more specifically, I hear people say that the Semtex is far superior to the frag grenade. While it's true that the Semtex are far easier to use, once you master the cooking aspect of frag grenades, they become invaluable. I'm here to convince you of this fact. The gameplay will all be of cook grenades, and since there's not much I can say to help you earn this patch, I'll end with a top 5 countdown of my best cook grenade kills. So Advanced Warfare makes escaping frag grenades easier than ever, which is one of the top reasons people don't use frag grenades in the first place. Not only is there a grenade indicator when one is tossed in your general direction, but with all the exo abilities associated with the exo suit, you can easily jump away and dodge the blast. Even if the grenade lands right at your feet, if it's not properly cooked, there's almost always enough time to get away. And that's where cooking grenades, and therefore this challenge, comes into the picture. The purpose behind grenade cooking is to give your opponent less time to react to the grenade. By learning how to cook the grenade at just the right amount of time, you can make it go off on impact. This means your opponent won't ever have a chance to react or get out of the way. This is a guaranteed kill in Advanced Warfare. I guess I should note that the only thing preventing it from being a kill is Flak Jacket. Exo Stim may also prevent this, but I personally have never encountered anyone using it in defense of one of my grenades. So let me reiterate that. If you cook it just right and the grenade implodes in someone's face who isn't using Flak Jacket, they'll die. It's an automatic kill. That is what makes mastering this challenge so vital. The hardest part of it all is just learning the right amount of time before you need to throw it. Otherwise, the grenade will blow up in your own face. As with most things in life, practice makes perfect. Go into the firing range and practice cooking them for different distances. Your cursor will pulse four times when you cook a frag grenade, exploding on the fourth pulse. In my own experience, you'll want to wait until the third pulse to chuck it. If you want to lob it further, throw it at the second pulse. One, two, three, throw. Boom! Fatality. No chance to escape. For a class setup, all you need is the frag grenade. Put it on any class you want. Contrary to popular belief, you do not need Danger Close for this challenge. Danger Close is a crutch that barely boosts the damage of the frag grenade. Like I said earlier, perfect the cooking method and it's an instant kill already. No amount of damage boost will change the fact that if a grenade blows up directly in your face, you'll die. For game modes, hardpoint and domination are the best. Momentum is good too, but you may encounter flak jacket and the trophy system a lot more often in that mode. Now I'll admit, frag grenades become less useful outside of modes where there are well-defined places enemies have to be. Until you master grenade cooking, you shouldn't bother equipping frag grenades in game modes like free-for-all or TDM. There just aren't enough scenarios where they're viable there. Another technique is banking. Not only is it satisfying to get a bank grenade kill, it's practical. Why peek around a corner yourself and risk getting shot when you can bank a half-cooked grenade off the wall? 
It's also great for clearing the pathway for flag or ball runners such as in Capture the Flag or Uplink. Explode a half cook grenade in the doorway before your carrier passes through to clear the way. One last note. You can kill two birds with one stone here as the return to sender challenge is very closely related to this one. I did a video covering that one in detail already and it'll be linked in the description and outro if you haven't seen it yet. For that challenge you need a banker grenade, scoop it up, cook it, and throw it. If you cook it long enough you'll get rewarded twofold. One for the return to sender challenge for throwing it back and one for the master chef challenge for cooking it. So that's enough of me rambling how great cooking the frag grenades can be. Let me show you with my own personal top 5 grenade kills. At number 5 I call this one Friday the 13th. Just as Jason used to kill campers, frag grenades can home in on those camping their dicks off. Notice a threat detection grenade highlights two of my enemies here, but not the camper. The only way I see him is by the flash on his muzzle. Number 4, The Return to Sender. As I mentioned earlier, you can complete both the Return to Sender and Master Chef challenges at the same time. So what's better than completing two challenges at once? How about getting a triple kill and thus three points towards each challenge? Number 3, The Invisible Man. Remember when I said banking grenades is practical? Check this one out. The hard point is up a flight of stairs, so I lob a cooked grenade, banking it off the wall, killing someone in the process. Except, where was the guy that died? I didn't see anyone in midair. Was the blast radius so big it took out someone through the glass? Strange, but cool. Number 2, The Air Jordan. Using hover to cook grenades gives you the height advantage as well as the sneak attack advantage. No one expects a grenade to be shot down at them from above especially those capping a flag. And at number one, the triple decker with cheese. Hardpoint is ideal for cook grenades. What's even more ideal is when enemies are huddled together in a single spot, and then another one is completely oblivious to you and rushes in to die as well. The guy that didn't see me there, by the way, was the cheese. A triple kill plus another one. A triple decker with cheese. Yeah, yikes. So gone are the days where Call of Duty forced you to have a grenade in your class loadout, making it a powerful tool at your disposal. Nowadays, people rarely use the frag grenade, deeming it weak. This challenge, which I encourage everyone to attempt, will redeem the awe-inspiring strength of the frag grenade. With a little practice, mastering the art of cooking grenades can make your enemies rage in sheer frustration as you instantly kill them with a perfect explosion. Conquer the art of cooking grenades and become the Master Chef.